Canadian truckers, you've been reading about it, who are resisting bravely these lawless mandates are doing more to defend American freedom than our own leaders by far. And we want those great Canadian truckers to know that we are with them all the way. They are. They've really shown something. Hey everybody, Mike Thiessen here for Liberty Coalition Canada. You can see it happening. We're in the middle of the convoy. I'm in North Line Industries lead truck. We're here just to celebrate freedom. We're telling Ottawa that it's time to lift all of these mandates. Get out on your social media. Don't let the establishment media start making this about anything silly. This is about freedom loving Canadians getting in their trucks and their cars, obeying the law, making their way to Ottawa. Don't let Mr. Trudeau say any more about having unacceptable views. And this convoy is saying no. Key and Bexie here with the counter signal on the side of the highway in Ontario. Just before we got to Terrace Bay, uh, Ontario, I'm embedded in the Freedom Convoy on its way to Ottawa uh, and some slight problems are developing. We're not sure exactly what's going to happen uh, and we're not sure what the convoy organizers are going to decide to do. It looks like government interference may put a stop to this convoy or cause it to be seriously delayed or rerouted, which would cause further issues with regulations uh, relating to how long truckers can drive. The government says that the road up ahead is closed. They say that it is, be, it is because of treacherous weather conditions. I don't know if you can see behind me or the general environment, but the roads are fine. There is no treacherous weather, but the government is closing down the roads, specifically Highway 17 by the looks of it. Now, we don't know what the convoy is going to decide to do. Stay tuned here uh, and at convoy coverage com to see what's going on if you follow me on twitter here i'll keep you posted live with what's happening this is pretty sketchy stuff the government has no excuse to be closing this road we'll see what happens i'll keep you 